Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. Uh, here we're going to continue trying to find the z-scores by using the table uh, when we're given uh, the area or the probability. So we're going backwards. We're just kind of doing a couple of additional problems to show you all the different cases you might encounter. In the next section, we'll actually solve statistical word problems to show you how you would apply this to an actual problem. So for now, just to, to learn mechanically how to do this, let's find the z value such that the area between uh, negative z and z is 0 0.99. Uh, it looks complicated, but really, again, a picture uh, will remove all confusion, if there is any. So let's draw our distribution like this. So it's the z value such that the area between z and negative z. So I don't know what z is. That's what I'm actually trying to find. But I know that between negative z and positive z, so this is the same value of z on either side of the mean, all right, the area between these two guys, which is this shaded area here, area is equal to 0 0.99. So what I need to do is go to my table and somehow figure out what value of z, such that if I look on the positive and the negative side of the mean, give me a included area that's equal to this guy. Now certainly you can't just solve it straight out by looking, put, putting this number into your chart uh, there because uh, uh, the chart is set up to give you areas to the left. Um, but again, you know, a lot of these things, if you don't see this right away, it's okay because this is part of learning. You learn how to do it and then next time you see something similar, it's just like riding a bike. You have to learn the basic idea. So the way you really want to tackle this is you want to recall that the area under the entire curve is 1. So if I take 1 minus 0 0.99, then I get a number 0 0.01. What does this represent? 0 0.01 represents the area in the tails if you add them together. Now I've kind of, uh, really this should be much farther out, the tail area is much smaller, but graphically you can see what's going on here. If this is 0.99, then everything else must add together to give me this. Now I have an equal amount of area here as I do here because z and minus z are, are both on the same side of the mean in equal distance. So what if I want to figure out what this area is right here? What would that area be? right there, because I can look that up from the table. What is this area? Well, this area should be 0 0.01, which is what I just calculated here, divided by 2, because these two areas should be the same. And so when I get that, I'll look up and I'll get 0 0.0050. So what we have 